welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I am so incredibly excited about today's video. Per your request, I am filming another what I eat in a week points versus calories. But this one is a little bit different. My goal this week is to not only meet my calorie goal, but also to meet my protein goal. I'll put my goal range here on the screen for you that I shoot for each day for protein. But I am also striving to stay within my points. I want to show you that it is possible to stay within your WW points, but yet still eat enough calories. Kind of going back to some of my past videos where I mentioned it all is the foods that you're choosing. You have to strategically plan your day in order to hit your points goal, but also hit your calorie goal so that you're not damaging your metabolism to make sure you're eating enough so you're full and you're satisfied and you're not reaching for the unhealthy foods because you're so hungry from your lack of calories throughout the day. So that is my mission this week. My goal is to show you that I can do just this all five days. So let's see how it all plays out. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I do have an entire points versus calories playlist. I will link that playlist down below for you guys where I have several videos going over points versus calories. Make sure you're subscribed and that your bell is turned on. That way you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't want to miss a single one. Thumbs up this video if you love this points versus calories series. And we have quite the week planned, so let's get started. Monday. As you can see, I'm now in my car. I just pulled into my real estate office. I'm going to hop in and take advantage of the Wi-Fi. I need to upload meal prep for today as well as my what I eat in a day for Wednesday and Thursday's video. So generally on Mondays, because the internet at my house is great for surfing the internet, but because we live a little bit out of town, it is not great for uploading videos. It literally takes hours. And I know that there's a way to compress them down, it's just easier when I head out the door to Jazzercise, which is where I'm going this morning, to just make a quick pop by the real estate office and upload here. So I'm going to get those videos uploaded. I am going to try the new Built Go in Peanut Butter Honey, which is their energy gel right before Jazzercise. So as soon as I get these videos uploaded, I'll be back to share that and my first impression thoughts on the new Boost Go. So this is the Built Go. This is the brand new energy protein product from built bar this is the peanut butter honey this is the one that I wanted to try first it is 100 calories but it has 15 grams of protein so basically what this is is like an energy gel that you would take pre post workout or even when you're out and about and you're hungry it is in a little portable squeeze tube kind of like the nut butters and you can throw this in your desk your purse your workout bag you can give it to your older kids to have with them when they're hungry and you get 15 grams of of protein. So this particular one, the peanut butter honey, this one is three points. There is a chocolate coconut and a chocolate mint, both of which are two points. So not bad at all for 15 grams of protein. So I'm going to open this up and show you guys what it looks like, try it, and give you my honest opinion. So this is what it looks like. So it 
kind of looks like honey. It has that thick consistency of honey, so let's try it. I'm a huge fan. This is delicious. And I just took a look at the back of it and it's actually sweetened with monk fruit. It does have honey in it as well. It literally tastes like peanut butter with honey. It is so delicious. I'm so happy that they sweetened it with monk fruit instead of with sucralose or one of those other sweeteners. The only ingredient in here that I don't love is natural flavor. But most things that are flavored have natural flavor. So that's not bad at all, ingredient wise. It has 15 grams of protein and only 100 calories. And it's absolutely delicious. It is so incredibly good. I cannot wait to try the chocolate mint and the chocolate coconut. I will be buying these and lots of these. All right, I'm at Jazzercise, as you saw. So I'm going to add some water to my pre-workout. So what I do is I fill this up to about the 10 ounce mark. So not very much water at all. Give it a really good shake. And then I down this about 10 minutes before. It is currently 7.47 in the morning. My class starts at eight. So let's mix her up and take that pre-workout. And let's kick some you-know-what at class today. All right, workout complete soaking wet hair and all. I am going to take my post-workout. I've shown this before, but I'm going to exactly show you guys what I do pre and post-workout. So I do take some BCAAs. I'm going to show those to you, kind of how I mix them up, and I just sip on that on my way home. So these are the BCAAs that I take. This is the Beyond Raw in watermelon. Actually, every single one of their flavors are really good. You seriously cannot go wrong. The serving size is two scoops. I do one because two is way, way, way too sweet for me. So I put one scoop of this and about 12 to 16 ounces of water and I sip on it on the way home and BCAAs are great for joint recovery muscle recovery they give your body that little extra bit of recovery power so every time I have an intense workout and as you can tell I'm still out of breath because today was an intense workout I always take my BCAAs I'll link these down below I just buy them on Amazon and here is breakfast. It's 9.30. I just got home from my Jazzercise class. So I have four of the egg bites that I made in meal prep. These are amazing. They're only 57 calories each and one smart point. So this is only four points. And then I have a big cup of honeydew melon because it's in season and it's so good for zero. And then, of course, I have water in my cute little coffee over cardio. It has the logo here on the back tumbler that says caffeine loading i try to drink about six of these a day and so far this will be my third one plus all the water i drink during my workout so i'm doing great on that so this is my four smart point breakfast <laughs> So I'm going to do some work for real estate. I'll kind of show you guys what I'm doing, but I'm going to have one point worth of this ginger egg kombucha, which is basically about eight ounces. I'm just going to put it in this pretty little glass cup and I'm going to sip on that while I work on real estate. So here is what I'm working on. So every month for real estate, I send out kind of these cute little large size postcards to everybody that I've worked with or met at an open house like that I actually have, you know, contact information from. I send this out. That way I'm constantly in front of them in case they have any real estate needs or know anybody who does. So this is a really cute barbecue one for the month of August. And then there's always, you know, I always type a little something to them with my slogan, I'm never too busy for your referral. And then my contact information, I'll write these up once a month and mail these out. So that's what I'm going to be working on. It is lunchtime. It is just now 1130 and I'm actually super hungry from my workout. I usually have a earlier lunch on the days that I work out and since I don't have a morning snack, I'll have a bigger afternoon snack to tide me over until dinner. But I'm going to have some lunch because 
I'm hungry. So this is my meal prep from Monday. I have my meatballs. These are my caprese meatballs. These are four points. And then I have five points roasted worth of roasted potatoes with the Dax, nothing but the ranch, which is the bomb. So this is nine smart points total. And then I have um, about a half a cup of red grapes. These are the organic grapes from Imperfect Foods. I seriously love Imperfect Foods so much. So that is my nine smart point lunch and I am on another water my friends. I am doing so good on my waters today. It is afternoon snack time. I'm making a protein shake. We are going super simple today. I have one cup of the Great Value Unsweetened Almond Milk. I really like this one. It does not have carrageenan or natural flavors because it is the original, not anything that's flavored like vanilla. So this is actually pretty good and really affordable. I have one half of a cup of these organic blueberries from Costco. So you can kind of see those floating around in there. That's actually the only fruit that I put in my smoothie. Like I said, I'm keeping it simple. And then I have one scoop Shocker, I um, have the Live Well Plant Protein in the vanilla. 17 grams of complete protein. The vanilla is only one smart point per scoop. You cannot beat that for 17 grams of protein. And I believe it's 97 calories, 91, 91 calories. So you can't beat it. You guys know how much I love Live Well Protein. They have vanilla cacao unflavored, which is great to add to things, and also coconut, which are all absolutely amazing. My favorite protein, even though it's plant protein, it does not have any weird chalkiness. It's literally creamy, delicious, it's sweet, I love it. So I am just literally putting those three things into my magic bullet and going to basically make a blueberry vanilla protein shake. And then I'm also going to have a Nix sticks. I picked these up at my local health food store. You can actually have both of the sticks for one point. So I'm going to do that as well. Get in a little extra protein, 10 grams in that. And then with the protein powder and the milk, it's 18 grams in the protein shake. So I will link live well down below. I do have 10% off. You guys get this protein powder. So it wasn't quite thick enough. So I went ahead and decided to add some frozen spinach. Of course, zero points, really zero calories. I think it's maybe one or two calories worth. So I'm going to reblend this and that will be my protein shake. And perfection. So now it's nice and thick. That little bit of frozen spinach just helped thicken it up. So this is my two smart point protein shake and my one smart point meat stick for a total of three points for my afternoon snack. So you're gonna get a recipe in today's, the very first day of this What I Eat in a Week. We are making a fettuccine pasta bake. It is pasta night in the Clayton house. You guys know we like to do this at least once a week. So tonight we're going fettuccine. So let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. I'm going to be using the Fiber Gourmet Light Linguine Pasta. You guys know my love of Fiber Gourmet. You know my husband's love of Fiber Gourmet. It's really all I buy and all we have in our house. I literally have a case of it. It is amazing. It is 100 calories per serving versus 210. So you can have two ounces of this pasta for two smart points. That's it. Traditional pasta is five to six, so it's less than half. There is 25 grams of fiber, which is amazing, versus two grams, 17 net carbs versus 41, and seven grams of protein per two ounce serving. It's amazing, seriously, you guys, it's the best pasta. I buy this off of Nutrition, so I will link Nutrition down below for you guys. Get your hands on some fiber gourmet pasta. Literally, we buy it by the case, and I'm not kidding when I say that. And then you're also going to need some cream of mushroom soup, beef broth, canned mushrooms. You could probably use fresh as well. And the original recipe actually calls for diced tomatoes, but I don't have any. I don't know why I only bought one can when I needed two this week. So I'm just gonna use tomato sauce, and I just won't have the chunky tomatoes. And then you're also going to need oregano, 96% extra lean ground beef, black olives. You guys know we buy ours at Costco, so we just store them here in this container. Butter, three cheeses. We need light shredded cheese, mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan cheese. So we are being very cheesy with tonight's dinner. And then an onion. So let's make fettuccine. So the first thing I'm doing is getting my ground beef browning in a rather large skillet. We are going to be putting most of our ingredients in here, so make sure it's a big skillet. And then I have a pan of salted water coming to a boil that will add the pasta in. So 
That's the first step of tonight's dinner. Once your ground beef is cooked most of the way through and all the fat has either cooked off or you've drained it, we are going to add one tablespoon of butter and the diced up onion. And we're just going to let that cook down. I reduced the heat a little bit as well. We're going to let this all cook down until the onions are translucent. Once the onions are cooked through, we are going to go ahead and add in our can of tomato. And again, you would use diced tomatoes. I think tomato sauce, this is the one from Trader Joe's, is going to be just fine for this recipe. I also have three tablespoons of black olives. I have my can of mushrooms, stems, and pieces. And then lastly, I'm going to pop in some oregano. Really get that nice and seasoned up. I am not going to add salt because we are using beef broth, which is super salty. So we're not going to need to add any additional salt. And then go ahead and give that another stir till everything is mixed together. And we're going to let this simmer here on the stove for about 10 minutes or so, just until all the flavors are melded. Okay, so we're ready to put the fettuccine bake together. So I have about a six by nine baking dish that I sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. So the very first step is here are my fiber gourmet linguine noodles. They are still pretty hot, but I do wanna put about half of those into the bottom of the prepared baking dish. Now you could rinse these to cool them as well, but they're, I mean, they're, I'm able to touch them to put them into the bottom of the baking dish, but we just wanna spread those out kind of in the bottom. We're then going to take this yummy meat mixture. Doesn't that look so good? And we are going to put about half of the meat mixture here over the top of the pasta. And this is still really hot, so I just have it sitting over here on some pot holders. So we are gonna go ahead and spread that out over the pasta. And then we have one cup of the light shredded three cheese blend. So we're going to put half of that over the top of this layer of the bake. And then we have half of a cup of the Trader Joe's organic mozzarella. We are going to then sprinkle half of that over this layer as well. And then we're repeating. So we are going to put the other half of the pasta over that. And we're kind of like layering like you would a lasagna, but this is going to be so good. I am so excited for this. So we've got the other half of the noodles. We've got the other half of the delicious meat sauce. And then the other half of both of the cheeses. And I just wanted to say that I'm actually glad that I used tomato sauce instead of diced tomatoes. I think it made it more of a saucy, mix for the meat than diced tomatoes would have been just because there's not that much liquid in diced tomatoes. So I'm not mad that I ended up using tomato sauce. So really you could do it either way. In my bowl here, I mixed together that can of cream of mushroom soup and a quarter cup of beef broth. And we are just going to pour that over the top of the bake. And that is going to simulate the creaminess that you would get with Alfredo. This is gonna be so good. I'm already like drooling for dinner and I'm hungry. So I am excited for this. So we're gonna go ahead and get that nice and even over the top. And then the last step before this goes into the oven and the oven is preheated to 180 degrees. It's literally the weirdest temperature in a recipe, but I'm gonna go with it. So I've got that over the top. And then lastly, I have one quarter cup of fresh Parmesan and I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. And it's going in, you guys. It's going into that 180 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. We want this to bake through, kind of like a baked spaghetti. We want it to get crispy and brown and the noodles to even get a little bit on the crunchy side, but this looks amazing. We are going to have these on the side of the fettuccine bake. When it gets almost done, I'll pop these in the microwave. These green beans, you guys, are so good from Trader Joe's. They're the big flat ones, kind of the ones you get in kind of the bougie restaurant. So we're gonna pair that with our fettuccine. So here is the fettuccine bake. I just pulled it out of the oven. I did bump the heat up to about 300 for the last few minutes and it barely got it brown and crispy. And then these are what those green beans from Trader Joe's look like. So I will plate these up 
be back with points and calories. So here is dinner. So what I did is I went ahead and cut it into six servings. The original recipe and the points I'm going to give you are for eight. I had enough points and calories to have a bigger serving and I'm pretty hungry today. So I went ahead and cut it into six instead. So if you cut this into eight servings, yours will be a little bit smaller, but it is only six smart points on all plans and 248 calories. So that's not bad at all. And then I have quite a bit of the green beans. I actually accounted for two servings when I tracked my calories. So my dinner, you guys, is six smart points. And this looks so good. So here is my dessert for tonight. I'm going to have one of the two good yogurts in vanilla. And I'm going to top it with one of these Smart Cakes in Vanilla Latte. These are so good. They are 38 calories. They have five grams of fiber and four grams of protein, which is great. And they are only one Smart Point. I buy these on the Smart Baking website. They have several, several flavors. They are keto as well, so they're low carb. I do have 10% off for Smart Baking. I'll put that here on the screen for you. So I'm just going to open up one of these and crumble it on top of my yogurt. All right, let's take a look at day one. So again, I wanna point out like I did last time where it says negative 376. They are saying that that is how many calories I earned back with my workout this morning. I do not eat my workout calories, points, whatever. So I just ignore that number. My goal is what is right here under food. My budget, as you can see, is 1860. I actually like to stay within 18 to like 19 or 1920 every day that puts me right about where I need to be on my calories so today I did 1864 so quickly you can see what I logged for breakfast snack lunch dinner and dessert and then my protein shake and my turkey stick this afternoon and then if we really quickly slide over you can take a look at my protein I killed it in the protein today 169.8 grams out of 165 yes please now i do track my carbs which i don't even look at or care but it looks like i was right where i should have been and then my fat i always always over my fat today wasn't too bad though so that's what we're looking like right on point for calories in the lose it app so let's take a look at the ww app and see about points Hashtag nailed it, 33 out of 33. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. I did it, my friends. It does say I have two points left. I can't figure out how to get my app. There's some weird fluke with it to change when I change my weight. So anyways, my coach said she'd help me in our in-person workshop on Friday, but I just go with the 33. So 33 points used out of 33 amazing morning i am just sipping on my coffee i'll insert a picture here i had the same coffee as i did yesterday the dogs are good they've had their morning treat i'm actually going to be getting ready today it is my filming day so i have to film at least one if not two videos today so i am fully going to get ready hair makeup i know surprise surprise and then tonight we are going to the 5 30 jazzercise class which is always amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this hair fixed, get a little makeup on my face, and I'll be back to check in with you guys before I start filming. All right, I'm ready for the day. I've got makeup on. I decided to just kind of do a little flip up with my hair today. I'm actually going to have some breakfast before I start filming. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you what I'm having for breakfast. Honestly, it's pretty much a repeat from yesterday, but I'm still gonna show you. All right, so same breakfast again as yesterday. I have four of the egg bites that I made in meal prep. These are so good, and I am going to jazzercise like I mentioned tonight, so I really wanna fuel my body with some good quality protein throughout the day today so that I have the energy to do that workout so late in the day. 
5.30 is late for me, you guys. I go to bed at 8. So I'm going to have four of the egg bites. Again, I have one cup of the honeydew melon. And I am on water number one in my still cute cup. This is linked down below. So there you have it. Four smart points for this morning's breakfast. Thought I would kind of show you guys my setup for filming. So this is my office. And so what I'll do is over here, you guys take note. You see this background a lot in my videos. Is I'll bring my chair over my ring light and my tripod and then I usually have my laptop here so that I can reference my notes and things but yeah this is what I use to film my videos a little bit of behind the scenes did you keep me company while I was filming you sure did yeah you were in there fighting with your brother mm-hmm you were so I'm going to take my greens the ones I do every day my adventure to fit greens I'm not going to show you guys again just because I showed you guys how I did these yesterday. I do dry scoop these. Now you can mix them with water. They're equally as delicious, just kind of whatever you want to do. But what I do is just put the scoop in my mouth, rinse it down with some water. Great way to get in my greens. I am actually going to pour myself a glass of kombucha. So I'll show that to you guys because I'll be having some points with that. So greens then kombucha. So I just went ahead and poured myself one point's worth of the GT's Gingerade. This is that big bottle that I got. So I like to drink it every day till it's gone because it only keeps its fizziness for a few days. So this is one point. It is a little after 9 a.m. So I'm going to enjoy this. If I have a morning snack, I'll be back for that. Otherwise, I'll be back at lunch. All right, so for my morning snack with my kombucha, I'm going to have one half of a cup of this Nancy's probiotic low-fat cottage cheese. I do not care for this. I didn't like the full-fat one. I don't care for this light one, but I'm going to eat this up. So one half of a cup. Someone is loving the weather today. She's been out there on her dog bed all morning. We do actually put it up on our picnic table right there at night because of the snake incident where we picked it up off of the ground in the shade there and there was a snake underneath. So now it goes up on the table. We pull it down in the morning and little Missy, the little sunbather, spends most of her day out there. Miss one. Yeah, you buddy, cozy. Look at this big lug. He has been laying in bed all day he literally you guys has not gotten up at all yeah i know yeah you sure have it bud it is lunch time lunch on repeat this is why i meal prep it makes it so easy so i have my potatoes my meatballs this is nine smart points same as yesterday and today i'm gonna have some strawberries and what i did is added a couple tablespoons of this marzetti glaze you can have up to three tablespoons for 10 calories zero points so i'm just going to count it as 10 calories for the little bit that i put here on my strawberries doesn't that look so good it's like dessert and fruit in one so i'm gonna do that and this so that's lunch is a total of nine smart points and with lunch, I forgot to show you, I'm going to have one of these spindrifts. This is the half and half tea and lemon. It's really good. I believe it's five calories. Yep, and zero points. So I'm going to have this with lunch. I'm going to have a two good yogurt and strawberry as my afternoon snack. It's about three o'clock. I'm going to get ready. I do need to head to the post office before my jazzercise class. And so I'm going to have this really quick before I get ready. So this is the too good in strawberry. And then this is the safe and fair birthday cake granola. I put one point worth or one tablespoon on top of my yogurt and it's really, really good actually. So this is going to be my three smart point snack. Hey guys. Well, I'm on my way to the post office. I'm actually going to be mailing those postcards you saw me address yesterday, and also a package out to one of the winners in my challenge group. You're on my new filming in the car kind of dealio, so that's kind of exciting. I can actually film a little bit easier in my car, which I don't do that often, but I wanted to have that option for you guys. So I wanted to let you know that I did pack my pre-workout. This is the My Adventure to Fit. I'll insert a picture here for you, but this is what I'm going to take prior to Jazzercise. It is 4.30. My class starts at 5.30, so I'm going to start making my way there. I also brought a another flavor of the new Built Go. You guys saw me try the peanut butter one. So today I brought with me the mint, the chocolate mint. So I'm going to try this, down this at five o'clock, give you guys an honest review. So stay tuned. All right. It is five o'clock. 
I'm going to try the Built Go. This is the chocolate mint. This one is only two smart points. So the chocolate mint and the chocolate coconut, which I have not yet tried, are two points. The peanut butter honey is three points. So I'm excited for this because I love all things mint and this will get me through my workout because I will be having a really late dinner tonight by the time I get home from Jazzercise. So let's try it. Um, 10 out of freaking 10. This is so good. It tastes like mint icing. I mean, it's that good. You guys, it has a good punch of the mint, but you get that really yumminess of the chocolate. I think I like this one the best. And for two points, you can't go wrong. 15 grams of protein. So I'm about to go kill my Jazzercise workout. I'm going to take my pre-workout literally right before I walk in the door. So I'll show you guys that when I take it. But yum. I'm about to head in. Pre-workout time. It's my really good friend that's teaching the class tonight. So I'm going to go in and visit with her for a little bit. So I'll take this a little closer to class. It's 5, 10. I'll see you after Jazzercise. Well, Jazzercise is complete. You can tell by my nasty hair. I was feeling like at the very end, we did kind of like a stretch type of a song. I was so nauseous. And this happens to me every once in a while. I don't know if I mentioned, but today started my favorite time of the month. We all know what that is. So I'm wondering if that was part of it, but I had to like chug some water at the end. Whew, I'm definitely feeling better now, but man, I was nauseous the last like one and a half songs. So anyways, I am not going to take my pre-workout today I or my post-workout. I don't take that on Tuesdays because it's already 6.30 p.m. and we go to bed at like 8 because my husband starts at 3.30 in the morning tomorrow. And if I take that post-workout, I can't sleep. So I am just going to head home, have some dinner, shower, and relax. So here is my dinner for tonight. I'm just having leftovers from last night. This is the fettuccine pasta bake. It is six smart points total. Here is dessert. This is one of my favorite little desserts to make. So what I use is one of the Trader Joe's organic sugar cones for one point. I do one point worth of the Enjoy Life mini chips. I put a couple kind of in the bottom of the cone, melt those down, and then I top the cone with some more of the mini chips and then one marshmallow, and it creates kind of like this ooey gooey s'more-like dessert. It is so delicious, and it is four smart points, yum. So here is today's stats in the Lose It app. I am actually under calories at only 1739, so I'm under by 120 calories. The day just got away from me. I felt full and satisfied. With the foods that I ate, you can see I earned almost 700 calories exercising. And as I mentioned yesterday, I do not eat those. And let's quickly just take a peek at protein. Look at that. Hashtag nailed it again on the protein. We've got carbs just a tad over the 205. And as far as fat goes, I'm actually way under today, which well, not way under, but about six grams under. So now let's take a peek at the WWF. And there you have it. I am at 32 out of 33 points with one point to spare. So another great day on both WW points and calories. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I just made my coffee. This is the same exact coffee as I had yesterday. I'll insert a picture here for you guys. But I am going to do a little computer work. I have some laundry going. I have a very busy day today. It is my clean the house day. So it's do all the bedding, wash all the laundry day, and clean the house day from top to bottom, dust, vacuum mop, all the things. I have my Zoom call for my real estate office today at 8.30. I have another Zoom call at 1 p.m. And then at four today, I'm getting my nails done. So we may be eating out for dinner. So we're gonna try to work that into our day in both calories and point. So I am going to do a little work on my computer, enjoy my coffee, give my dogs their morning supplements, which I'll show you because they're amazing, as well as their morning treats. So let's start our Wednesday.
I wanted to share these with you guys. If you have pets that are older, so as you know or may not know, Diesel is almost nine, and I heard about these on Amazon. These are amazing. They go based on their weight. They are a fish oil and cheese flavored. They have omega-3s. They have glucosamine for their joints. I have noticed a big difference in how easy he gets up and down since taking these. And we're on about our third month of taking these. He takes three every day. She takes one every day. But these, you guys, are really, really awesome. We will continue to purchase these. They're not very expensive. So if you have a small dog, they'll last a long, long time. Again, the number you give them depends on their weight. And this is what they look like. So they're kind of just a little pellet, so to speak. So I'm going to go ahead and give these to the dogs. They get them every single morning. And I'll link these down below as well as I'll make a list of the favorite treats of Diesel and Lola because they're grain free and they also don't eat chicken. So there's really high quality treats and they're affordable on Amazon. So I'll link all that down below for you. It's breakfast time. Sorry for the same breakfast every day, but this is actually the last four of my meal prep egg bites. So tomorrow and Friday, you will get a different breakfast. And today I'm actually going to make a different lunch to kind of take a break from my meal prep. So I have four, the last four, like I said, of my egg bites. This is four smart points. I also cut up the grapefruit. So I know this is kind of an interesting looking grapefruit, but this came in my Imperfect Foods box last time I got an order. That actually I showed you guys in a previous video, but I just added a little bit of monk fruit granular sweetener for zero points to the grapefruit about a half an hour ago and let it sit in my fridge to get it nice and sweet. So I'm going to have that. I am on my first large 32 ounce water, which is almost gone. So this is breakfast and it is four smart points. It's a little after eight. My Zoom call for real estate is at 8.30. So I generally will brew myself just kind of a small pot. This is a really small coffee maker and I brew about halfway up with coffee. That way I can sip on a nice hot cup of coffee during the Zoom call. And today I'm using the Coffee Over Cardio in Birthday Cake. This coffee is delicious. I love all the fun sayings on the back. Uh, so this one is really, really good. You guys know I do have a link for Coffee Over Cardio. It is not an affiliate link, but it is a 10% discount for you. So I will link that down below. That's where that cute leopard tumbler I've been drinking water out of the last couple days comes from. And I just truly, truly love their coffee. So today it's birthday cake in my hot stuff mug. So let's get some coffee and get ready for the call. that fight that need, that, that, that requirement. So we reach out to the borrowers and say, give us the name and number of... Morning snack time. Now this looks familiar. So I have my kombucha for one point, and then I have 110 grams or one half of a cup of the Nancy's. I can't wait to buy good culture tomorrow. Um, again, not my favorite, but it will do in a pinch. You guys notice I eat cottage cheese a lot because it is low fat, low calorie and really high in protein, which protein is my ultimate goal alongside points and calories. So this is going to be my morning snack. It's one point for the kombucha, three points, or I'm sorry, two points. I'm used to good culture. This one's a little less points because it's low fat. Again, not my favorite. So two points cottage cheese, one point kombucha, three points. I'm so excited to share with you guys my new air fryer. It came in perfect timing so that I can put out some air fryer recipes for you guys. As I mentioned in a previous video, we sold our other oven style because I really wanted an air fryer that not only had a rotisserie option, which my other one did, but also you could dehydrate. So welcome to my new air fryer and dehydrator. I'm so incredibly excited. So this is the Omo brand. I did get this off of Amazon. I'm going to link it down below for you guys, but it has a food dehydrator, which is really what I wanted. We were at, thought, talking about having dehydrated fruit and just healthier options that my husband could take in his lunch. So this was the highest rated and best reviewed air fryer. So. I'm gonna show it to you guys really quick because I'm that excited. 
Look at her. She is a gorgeous. Look at the inside. It is so nice. It is extremely heavy duty, high quality. My other one was a little bit less thick and heavy duty as this one, I guess. I love it. This one is bigger than my other one as well as far as the inside cavity all the controls and then look at this you guys look at these racks are almost one and a half times the size of the racks of my old one which was another thing i really liked about this dehydrator because the racks were so big you can actually fit more food on them and then of course it came with the rotisserie which my other one had as well and honestly you guys i never used the rotisserie but this one is even nicer my plan is to use the rotisserie in this one i never used it before make your own rotisserie chicken you can control the ingredients so i'm here for that it also came with a recipe book which who doesn't love that and then of course how to use the oven so it has a full digital display which i love isn't that so pretty so this is actually a 17 quart i just went and looked it up so it is definitely larger than my other air fryer of course you can cook everything completely oil free super easy to wash which i loved that about my other one you don't have to preheat this it air fries roasts reheats bakes and dehydrates i'm most excited about dehydrating but i have to say i'm pretty excited to be able to bake in here too it has an auto shut off function 40 different recipes you guys and look at all these presets so that just makes it really easy if you're doing fries or beef or fish or chicken or look hello cake or if you're dehydrating fruit I seriously am so excited about this. It has the light, which I honestly used all the time in my old oven. I love it. It is $159.99 is the cost. I'm going to link it down below for you guys. I'm not sure if I can get a discount or anything, but if I can, I'll put that down below as well. So stay tuned for more air fryer recipes now that this baby has entered my life. And here is today's lunch, my Jen salad as i so refer to this this is actually a salad creation that i kind of came up with it is on my website i'll put my website here on the screen for you but basically what i have is some spring mix a little bit of fresh basil strawberries blue cheese or feta i change it up depending on what i had on hand today i have blue cheese sunflower seeds i make my own dressing which is also on my website and then i have the new chick on the block spicy ish tenders i throw them in my little copper chef air fryer i'll pop in a picture here of the tenders for you and i have three of those and i top my salad with that and you guys i'm on water number three 32 ounce third one about to go down so this is my 10 smart point lunch this is my salad and again 10 smart points i will have this recipe as always on my website my website is linked down in the description box so i can't wait to eat this i am hungry and she came over because she knows she gets a little something after lunch too i'm getting ready to head out the door to get my nails done i'm packing snacks so i want to show you guys what i'm bringing so first i am bringing a, the brand new built bar if you guys have not seen these yet they just launched actually on the 13th this is the cookies and cream it is three smart points some of the bars are three some are four some are five so i highly recommend that you pick up the new bars they're really good the texture is definitely a lot more fluffy so it doesn't stick to your teeth they have more protein i like them better the size are the same the chocolate is the same it's enrobed in the whole bar instead of the bottom sometimes missing the chocolate they did a really good job when they reformulated these bars this cookies and cream is so good they have several several new flavors i do have a link for 10 percent off my code is Jen's WW Journey here on the screen, and I'll put the link and my code down below. But if you haven't picked up the new Built Bars, try them. They also reformulated their Built Boost, and they have several new flavors. They took out the sucralose, put in stevia, which I am so grateful for, and they still don't have any caffeine, any points, any calories, and they have the brand new Built Go, which you've seen a hundred times on this video so far because I'm obsessed with that. So you can use my link and code to get 10% off of everything plus free shipping. So I'm bringing this 
definitely get your hands on the new bars, guys. And uh, the NYX sticks. You guys saw that I brought one of these or had one of these earlier in the week. And then I think we're going to go out for dinner. So I've kind of planned what I'm going to have. Oh, and I think I'm going to bring some blueberries with me too to snack on. So I have quite a few snacks to get me through my appointment. My meal lady is wonderful, but she's slow. So I'm going to be there a while. So I want to make sure that I don't get hungry. And then I'm bringing my jug of water to get in another 32 ounces. So let's give the dog some treats and let's hit the road. I'm going to give them one of these whimsies. They love these. You guys, these are really high quality treats. They're vegetarian, grain free, gluten free, and GMO free made in the U.S. Love these. I will link them down below as these are part of Diesel and Lola's favorites in my Amazon store. So, ooh, there's two left, so let's give them one. Are you ready, baby? Here you go. Oh, look, and no diesel because somebody is so spoiled, yeah, you, that we bring your treats to you. Yeah, spoiled rotten. Yeah, buddy. I want to show you guys my shirt, too, because I've gotten some questions on my Coffee Over Cardio gear. I've shown you the tumbler, but this is one of my favorite shirts from them, and this is the Coffee on the Rocks. They have, you guys, some really, really cute apparel, so I recommend that you check them out. So I'm in the car, and I'm headed to get my nails done, which, by the way, is about a 45-minute drive. Gotta love living in the country. I just have to stop to tell you, out of all the bars that I've tried from Built Bar from the reformulation, this cookies and cream is my favorite. It is so good. I taste cookies. I taste cream. Wow. This one is amazing. And this one is only three smart points. I'm in love. I'm here. So this is the before of my nails. Now, I don't know. I may just keep these same nails. Like I said, I'm debating on whether I want to keep coming here or not. I got a lot to think about when it comes to my nails. But I am... I'm debating. I may just keep this same design until I do a backfill or I may just have her paint them. This is actual like glitter acrylic. So she would actually have to backfill my nails to remove this coloring. So I don't know if I'll just have her paint them or what, but of course I'll show you the finished product. So I went with the same nails. We're going to do a backfill next time. So I just did the pinky peachy glitter it is 6 15 oh, i was in there for two hours and 15 minutes and now i'm heading to get some dinner the line at wendy's i'm just now in the drive-thru i've actually been sitting in the parking lot part because the line is so long okay can i please have a grilled chicken sandwich and that's everything Six fifty-two. first one Thank you. $6 and 52 cents for a sandwich. So let's see what $6 and 52 cents gets you at Wendy's. I can't believe that. That's so ex expensive compared to a burger. So here it is. I don't have the best lighting. It's so sunny. There we go. So this is $6 and 52 cents. Alrighty then. This is dinner. So for dessert, I'm going to have the Smart Sweet Sour Melon Bites. These are the new ones. They're so good, you guys. I'll insert some pictures here of what it looks like out of the package, what they look like. You get a ton, a ton of these for only three Smart Points, and they are so good. I think they're better than the regular Watermelon Bites or the Sour Watermelon, and they're, so, I mean, they're so good. So my code here on the screen gets you 10% off of your order so definitely pick these up you cannot buy these in the store they're not in any stores yet so head over to smart sweets grab these this is going to be the last thing that i'm eating today so let me show you my tracker so here is my tracker in lose it so i ate 1763 calories out of 1860 so i'm under by about roughly 100 calories but I also got 144.6 grams of protein, which is awesome. And just for fun, I'm right on track with my carbs and a little under today on my fat. So let's take a look at the WW app. So today I am 33 out of 33 smart points. So right where I need to be, but you did notice that I was under my calories. So if I would have eaten all of my calories, I would have been over in my smart points. 
morning happy thursday here i am coffee in hand 6 42 in the morning at the dentist i have an appointment this morning at 7 so i'm here i'm just kind of waiting for the dentist to open up and enjoying my coffee i did brush my teeth this morning not too far before i had this coffee so it has a little bit of a weird taste but i definitely needed my coffee all that's in here is the fair life creamer just like i've been having this is just the vanilla which i actually like a little bit better so today's a busy day it's the dentist first thing this morning and then i'm going grocery shopping which i love to grocery shop i have a walmart pickup order i'm gonna hit up target and then i'm also going to go to trader joe's and natural grocers which is kind of like our sprouts Whole Foods because we don't have either of those stores here. I'm on the hunt for my Good Culture Cottage Cheese because I just can't stomach any other brand. I guess I'm a bit of a cottage cheese snob. So I'm going to flip you guys around, show you what I brought for food. I brought breakfast and a little snack and then that way I don't have to be rushed to get any food and I can just get grocery shopping and then if I get hungry I could pick something up or wait until I get home. So let me show you what I brought. So I brought some blueberries. This is just a little six ounce package of blueberries from Imperfect Foods. I did rinse these last night and threw these into the refrigerator. So I brought those. And then for breakfast this morning, I'm actually going to have a healthy eating all the time and go bar in the chocolate. You guys, I love this one. Look at those chocolate chips. I love healthy eating all the time and go. They are clean as clean can be. They have fantastic macros. So I'm going to have this after the dentist, probably with the blueberries, the bar and the blueberries after the dentist. And then I also brought another one of those Nick sticks, those meat sticks, but this one is actually the chicken. It's 95 calories, but I think it is still only two points. So this is what I brought. So this is two, this is six. So that would be eight points. And then of course my coffee is one. So that would be nine points when I eat all three of these. Out of the dentist. Perfect. My teeth were great. I've been using the water pick flosser and they said that they can tell a big difference in my teeth since using that. So that's amazing. And my gums, we have a history of bad gums in my family. So using the water flosser has really helped. So highly, highly recommend. So now it is 8 a.m. I'm actually going to head to natural grocers first and then hopefully hit up Trader Joe's. And then I think I have Walmart pickup at eight. So let's go shopping at Walmart pickup. I have been to natural grocers and Trader Joe's. You guys, I got some good stuff at both places. So it is 9.40. I'm going to have my kombucha and sip on this while I pick up my Walmart groceries. And then my last stop for shopping is good old Target. So here's my lunch today. I am having my meal prep since I am home. I'm going to go ahead and have this. So I have my meatballs, my potatoes. This is the last of my honeydew melon. So this is about a cup or so of that. I am on my first big water in my tumbler here, but I've had one of these already in the form of bottles and that type of thing. So this is basically my second water. So this is a total of nine smart points for lunch. We're getting ready to head out the door. Uh, we've got to go pick up some of Troy's pat mother's belongings that recently passed away. And I have been meaning to tell you guys, give you a review of the Teddy Blake handbag that I reviewed quite a while ago in a what I eat in a day. I love my handbag. So I do have the crossbody one, so it has the really long strap. I love it. I mean, it's small, but I can put my phone in here. I can even throw my camera in here, my wallet, money. I mean, it's got more room on the inside. So I am loving the size. I'm loving the crossbody. So I'll show you. I can fit my keys, my wallet, my mask, everything here in the handbag. I mean, it's deceiving. There is actually a lot more room in here than you may even think. I've got all that in there and room to spare. So I just wanted to show you guys and let you know how much I'm loving this. I was actually on their website the other day and they're having a huge summer sale. It starts on August 14th and goes through August 18th and they are doing 65% off of most things on their website. So you can find these gorgeous, 
Italian leather handbags for up to 65% off. Now, if you do decide not to buy a sale item and just go for, you know, a full priced bag, you can use my code here on the screen to get $20 off. So either way, grab the sale, grab the $20 off, grab a Teddy Blake handbag. I will tell you, I get a million compliments when I take this out and about. And I do love mine too, because it has the pink inside because you know me and how much I love pink. So go on to Teddy Blake's website. I'll link it down below for you guys. Put all this information down there, but I'm loving my little handbag. So I'm going to grab it a bottle of water, give the dogs a treat, and we're hitting the road. While we're waiting for him to load up our trailer or hook it up, let's go out and get the mail. And I'll flip you guys around and you can kind of see a little bit better where we live. So I'm gonna walk out and grab the mail. So we have to walk all the way down the long driveway. So here's a little view kind of, of what I see when I look out my front window but we're gonna go out here, if you can see it kind of off there in the distance, and grab the mail. And travel back. It's a long walk, no, just kidding. It's actually a pretty long driveway, honestly. So there he goes, hooking up the trailer so we can head on out. Look at everything is blooming. I can't believe how big our bushes have gotten and we trim them back every year. And look, they've grown in so much, they're touching. This is one of my very favorites. And here's actually the new things we planted. Crazy, huh? Crazy how fast everything grows. But I love, love this one. Look how pretty you are in the sun. That's the perfect spot for you. You know what? Your brother has not gotten up for hours. But you, my little girl, are cozy. Hey, yo, Diesel. Buddy. Are you planning on getting up at all? Diesel? Hey, oh, they scare you? I'm sorry, buddy. Are you gonna get up at all today? Huh? No, you're not interested? Yeah, rough life you lead. We just got home from running our errands. We ended up getting my mother-in-law's death certificate in the mail. So we stopped by her bank and closed out that account. And then we went over to a friend of hers that had stored about 30 boxes of her things in her basement. And we went and grabbed all of those things, trucked them all up the stairs, loaded them on our trailer, and we just got home. And it is almost six o'clock. So I was going to make dinner, but because it's almost six o'clock and I try not to eat past like six, 6.15 on Thursday due to weighing in tomorrow morning. And by the way, I'm going to my workshop for the first time since quarantine. So I'll definitely take you guys with me. So I don't wanna eat much past six o'clock. So I'm going to be making the Costco frozen pepperoni pizzas. I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I'm having. And it works out perfectly because the points just bring me right to where I need to be today. Um, I'm probably just FYI going to be low on calories though. So let me flip you around and show you dinner. So this is the frozen thin crust pepperoni pizza. You actually get four of them, I'll show you, just like this, in a box at Costco. And I just add some olives to it. I'm not even gonna count the olives because it's hardly any to the pizza. But you can have a quarter of this. So basically two pretty good sized pieces for 14 points. And that will put me right at 33 points for the day. Not leaving room for dessert, which is fine since it's almost six o'clock but I'm very, very curious where I'm going to land calorie wise. I'm betting because this is such a point heavy meal, but is only 400 calories, I'm probably gonna be way low in calories. So it's going to be quite interesting. So I'll be back to show you my dinner and then we'll take a look at both the WW Tracker and the Lose It app. So here is dinner. This is one fourth of the pizza, two pieces. So this is 14 smart points. And after I eat dinner, I'll show you guys the trackers. Excuse Lola squeezing her toy in the background. She's squeaking away. But you can see I am 33 out of 33 points today, which is amazing. Let's take a look at calories because I want to see if I'm accurate that I'm low. And I am correct, 1,619 out of 1,860. So definitely low. That's pretty low for me. I never usually eat that low, but... I promised myself I was going to stay in my points and calories, so 
it's the day before weigh-in, so a low day is a good thing. So let's take a look and see if I actually met my protein goal. So, oh, 110 out of 165, so not bad. I am short about 10 grams or so. I like to be a minimum 120, but we know pizza doesn't have a ton of protein. And then for fun, I'm well within my carbs, which is amazing, and I'm actually well within my fat. So overall, the day was good. It's just a little bit low on the calories and a little bit low on the protein. Good. Good morning happy friday it is 6 30 and i'm on my way to my very first ww workshop since quarantine so this is the first time that i'll actually be stepping foot into a studio for a workshop now i am debating on weighing in only because i've already drank some water today i had to take some allergy medicine my allergies are legit killing me and i sipped on my coffee for a couple minutes to make sure that i liked it because i added a new creamer so i don't know if i'm going to weigh in if we have to wear shoes and all the things probably not now i did weigh in at home so i know what my weight is on my home scale which obviously is where i've been weighing in for the last couple of months so i'm not sure if i'm going to weigh in i will definitely let you guys know but i did bring some food with me because after i go to the workshop i'm going to run some errands i swore i had jazzercise today and i don't there is no studio class today i'm i'm all confused on dates apparently but i do want to go get a pedicure and then i need to run over to the dollar tree to grab some yard sale things because we are having a yard sale with all of my mother-in-law's things plus i am refreshing some of our home decor so we're going to be doing a yard sale so we have a busy morning and then it's yard work when we get home. So I'm gonna flip you around. I'm going to show you my coffee and then what I brought for food for today. So I have my coffee uh, with the Fair Life Creamer. So this is one smart point. And of course, a healthy eating all the time and go bar. I'll put my code again here on the screen for you guys. It is not an affiliate link. It just gets you 12% off. You support an amazing company. These again are the best bars macro wise. This is the chocolate one. This is the same one that I had yesterday. This one and the cranberry peanut butter and the chia protein bar are my very favorite. So six points and then and I also brought a meat stick because I am, again, going to be out getting my toes done. So I'll be out for a little while. So breakfast uh, for the day and a snack and then, of course, some coffee. Workshop check. Video recorded and uploaded check so now i'm going to run some errands i'm going to the dollar tree and i'm also going to get my toes done but i wanted to share with you guys and i also shared this in my weigh-in video that was posted on friday before this one my thoughts on the new workshop setup i'm not a fan to be completely honest i felt like it was really impersonal we were so far apart from each other which i totally understand. I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like in the studio here for you. And I get that we have to be far apart. I noticed that the bathroom doors were open, so we may be able to actually use the bathroom. I'm not sure on that. I could not bring my coffee in. Of course, I had to wear a mask, which I understand. And we had to weigh in in shoes. So I chose not to weigh in this week in studio. Instead, I recorded my weight at home because I'm not going to weigh in in my shoes. That doesn't, I mean, that's going to affect my weight. I said in my video, and I'll say it here for you guys as well, if I'm being honest and transparent, I probably will not go back to the in-person workshops until they go back to maybe the way they were before. If they ever go back to the way they were before, I just didn't like it. And so for me, getting up extra early, driving the 20 minutes to the workshop I'd rather just do the Zoom. I get, I feel like for me, I get as much out of the Zoom. So just heads up on that. You probably won't see me going to the main in-person workshops for a while. So anyways, I am going to go to the Dollar Tree. I'm thirsty. I'm going to grab a water while I'm there and get some things for the yard sale. So here is the before and after. I did a bright orange with a pretty little flower. 
All right, I'm out of my toenails, my pedicure appointment. They turned out really cute. It took forever because uh, they were busy, so I had to actually wait my turn, which is totally fine, but I'm starving. It is almost noon, and all I've eaten today is that healthy eating all the time and go bar and that meat stick. So there is a Carl's Jr. over here. Now I know it's not ideal, and I know it's probably not the healthiest lunch choice, but I am going to, I already looked it up on the app while I was getting, doing my toes. I'm going to get the three-piece chicken strip basket not basket but just the chick three chicken strips no um sauce and it's six smart points so that's what i'm gonna go do i think it's about 300 calories or so so i'm gonna go ahead and order that for lunch and head home all right so here is lunch this isn't actually too bad for six smart points these are pretty good sized chicken strips so i'm going to have these and then when i get home i will probably have some fruit but whatever i have at home i will definitely show you but this is part of lunch so i am home it is one quarter to one 12 45 so i am not going to eat anything else i think i'm pretty good i'm going to grab a water i have some goals today i'm going to go clean out my car vacuum wipe it all down clean the windows do all the things and then i've got to do that yard work take care of my rose bushes spray some weeds and do a little bit of weed eating and then i am going to make dinner tonight so i'll show you what i'm going to be having for dinner when i have an afternoon snack i'll definitely be back to let you guys know what i have i just came in from outside i was out there for like two and a half hours I just took a shower and now I need a protein shake. I have not eaten anything since lunch. I did not have anything else other than the chicken. So I'm hungry. So in my magic bullet here, I have one cup of great value almond milk. I am going to put in one serving of the Lakanto peanut butter powder. And then I'm going to use the Live Well chocolate and I'm making my famous peanut butter Reese's protein shake which is amazing so i'm going to add one scoop of this this has 17 grams of complete protein this is by far the best protein powder i know that it says plant protein it doesn't taste like it you guys saw me use vanilla earlier in the week i'm obsessed with this so definitely check this out I'll link it down below for you. And then I have a frozen banana, a small, it's pretty small, and then a bag of frozen spinach. This is gonna serve as my ice. I do not count blended fruit. So my protein shake is one for the almond milk, one for the peanut butter powder, and two for the protein. So it is four smart points. So here it is, looking good already. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up. I promise you, you do not taste the spinach. She's not the prettiest in the world, is she? But it's really good. So the reason it's this kind of weird color is the spinach. So I don't mind it though. I tasted it. It's so good. You guys, it literally tastes like a Reese's. So all you have to do, get the live well cacao or chocolate powder, some powdered peanut butter, a banana, some almond milk. You could even skip the spinach if you want, blend it up. And it's like a Reese's shake. When I finished this water that I was sipping on in the garage while I was outside, I haven't had kombucha today. So I'm going to have one point worth of kombucha which is a little less than half the bottle and then i generally will have the other half tomorrow so water kombucha so here is my dinner tonight i did a copycat kfc chicken bowl but this is a recipe that's a little bit different than maybe some of the other ones that you may have seen it's actually from pound dropper i will definitely link the recipe on my website along with my modifications but this entire bowl there's mashed potatoes corn gravy popcorn chicken and cheese is all eight smart points that's it you guys eight points for dinner so this is going to be so good this recipe will be coming out in a video once it hits live on my channel i will have the recipe on my website but i can't wait to dig in for eight smart points all right my friends dessert tonight is three smart points for the smart sweet sweet fish I hadn't had these in a while, and now that I love the sour melon bites, you guys have to get those. It's kind of reignited my love for smart sweets, so I've been liking to have them for dessert. So I'm gonna do the sweet fish tonight for three points. I've got another water happening here. So this is three points, this will end my night. So let's take a look at the WW app for today and lose it. So here's lose it today. I am under calories once again today by like 260, but honestly, I'm not hungry. So I'm not going to eat anything else today. I don't like being under calories as you know, but I'm not going to force myself to eat if I'm not hungry. So let's just really quick look at protein, 104.1. So I'm also under on protein, but if I would have eaten another snack or maybe something else, it would have upped my protein a little bit. 
Everything else looks pretty good, but being under calories, I'm not going to probably reach the threshold, honestly, of any of my macros. But again, I'm not hungry, so I'm gonna end my day with those smart sweets, but let's take a look at the WW app. Alrighty, so 31 points out of 33 today. So I am short two smart points. By the way, my coach today at the workshop helped me fix my app. I just need to uninstall it and reinstall it and it'll calculate my points right. So if you have that issue when you're manually adding in your weigh-ins from home, all you have to do is restart or I'm sorry, uninstall and reinstall your app and it'll adjust your points. So I'm under today, but again, I'm good. I feel satisfied. I'm gonna probably have a Zevia a little bit later for zero points and that'll end out my Friday. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on an entire super long video again of what I eat in a week, points versus calories. This week went really well, considering all things, lots of eating out and I was still able to every single day stay within my points and most days within my calories. There were a few days, of course, that I was a little bit low in calories. And if you didn't notice, those were the days that I ate out. Because when we eat out or we eat processed food or prepared food, it's generally a lot higher in points than it is in calories. So that's why it's so important to work your meals around the zero point foods. But I wanted to show you a true week, a reality week where life happens and sometimes you don't get to eat all the meals that you planned on eating. But I'm really proud of myself on how well I did staying within my points. And like I've mentioned before, and I'll mention again here, my main focus is calories and protein with points is kind of my secondary focus. I do double track every day, but my goal is to eat enough, obviously, to keep my metabolism going and eat enough protein to aid in weight loss. So I feel like I did a pretty good job this week. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me a lot of the day in the life and just hanging out with me throughout the day. You guys love these types of videos. Of course, once again, this is a long video. I kind of thought that it would be. You guys don't mind, so I hope that you were able to make it to the end. If you have made it to the end of this super long video, leave the red heart emoji or type out red heart if you're on a computer down in the comments and let me know what you thought of this week's points versus calories, what I eat in a week. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so that you don't miss a single beat. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and check out that description box down below for all the discount codes of the products that I shared with you throughout this video, that air fryer, the Teddy Blake bag, all the things. So check out the description box, head over and join my Facebook group. That link is also down there. And thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I love spending time with you guys and taking you with me. So I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.